o'clock. It's too early to get up on a Sunday. I'm so tired. I'm trying to make my house as Christmassy as possible for when my sister comes home. So I've like put on like the candles and the Christmas tree lights. And I've just been putting on all the candles all over the house to make it look real homey. We've got this. I'm not that hugely into candles, but this Yankee candle, what's it called, sparkling cinnamon, is actually really nice and really crispy. I hate those like really strong cookie sweet flavoured ones, scented ones even. But that cinnamon one is actually so Christmassy. And I got a nice Christmas candle up here. So yeah, it's all Christmassy. There's my phone. We've got the makings of a delicious Irish breakfast. Clonic guilty pudding. Oh, stuff is so nice and it's gluten free. Woohoo! Sausages aren't gluten free, but my mom forgot to get the super quin gluten free ones. So I won't have any sausages, but the super quin sausages are amazing. Mushrooms, rashers, and eggs. Oh. If any of you don't live in Ireland, this is what an Irish breakfast consists of maybe tomato as well, and some bread and eggs. And yeah, it's pretty amazing. So yeah, that's what's going on. Before I have my fry, before everyone, my sister and everyone comes home, I'm having my porridge. Look how so steamy that is. Ooh. Um, and yet a glass of cold water and lemon. I thought they had antlers. Look at the eyelashes. Hi. So um, you probably have seen from the footage that I showed earlier on. Um, we I was on a walk and it was like my whole family went, so that was nice. And now I'm like lying down watching. Basically, I want to go to the gym. I'm just like, go to the gym. I'm just completely putting it off. So I decided to watch this motivational lady. Blogilates. Blog Blogilates. Blogilates. Whatever. Because um, she's just like, every time I look at her working out, I'm like, right, I'm going to have to go do that now. Because she's so motivational and like, she makes it look so easy. And then you go and do the workout and you realise I want to kill myself. But um, no, so I said... I was lying here, falling asleep, watching stupid videos, and then I said, go to the gym, so I put her on. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I feel so much better once I come home, and I can just flop on my bed. Hello! So, I went to the gym, and I am so happy that I did. Um, I've been five times this week, which is like, okay, some people will be like, five times, I go to the gym five times every week, it's not a big deal. But for me, that's a big deal. I'd like go two times, three times maximum. But this week, I was like, I'm gonna go as much as I can, and I did, and I'm happy with myself. But like, I say that now, but I'm going for like, I have like four Christmas dinners coming up this week and into next week, and then it's Christmas Day, obviously, and like, there's gonna be a lot of like bad food and a lot of alcohol consumed. So like, I think I'm great saying I'm going to the gym five times, but like. Oh god, I know it's just not gonna make any difference with what I'm planning to be eating over the next while. But yeah, um, I, my sister is home and it's great to have her here, but uh, she lent me, she lent me her Tangle teaser um, and it's amazing, I'm definitely going to get one, I've seen them in boots but they're like 18 euros so I'm always debating whether to get them because that's really expensive for at home, but oh my god, it's like, I can't show you anything but like it's made my hair so easy to brush and I'm definitely going to buy one because my hair just mats 
Um, so yeah, so this is my hair and it's wet. Very excited. I absolutely swear by the argan oil. This is the pennies one. This is the Primark one that's two euro. Um, oh, it's all oil. Red wine, red, red wine. What is it? Yum. Apple crumble and cream. So, 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 so delish. Yum, yum, yum. And tea, of course. Hi guys, so I just wanted to show you my hair. <laughs> so basically, I washed my hair and left it down, and this is what happens to it. <laughs> and look at the mass of curls, like, it is so curly. I don't know, yeah, you can see it there better. So, so curly. And like, some of you be like, oh, it's lovely and curly. It's like, yeah, it's nice for a day, and then it just all mats like underneath, and it's so hard to manage. I think I definitely need to get like curl cream or something because if I was going to wear curly I'd just like it really big like I would like to actually scrunch it up and like have big massive curls but then I don't know what products to use because I don't want something that's going to make it like sticky and hard and I don't know if you have anything that you think will make my hair like the curls redefined and stay really big um if, if you know of anything that would do that please let me know but yeah that's all for today and yeah see you tomorrow bye and now the afro is gone. Uh, sorry I'm speaking really quietly because I'm the only one awake so I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> um, I'll show you my outfit. So I've got my um, Primark um, cropped what's called blouse which I absolutely adore. I'll give you a close up shot of the pattern. Um, I just absolutely love this top. And then I've got my Primark um, huge oversized lime cardigan, which is so warm. And then I've got my um, Lee jeans. This is my sexy vest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got my Lee jeans on. I've got the usual Lagaban boots, of course. So, yeah, that's just my outfit. I'm going out for dinner after work with my family, so that's why it's kind of, well, not really dressy at all, but... You know, I could wear it to dinner if I wanted to. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the outfit. Not very exciting. And my makeup is just basically the exact same as the same way I did it last week when I was going to work when I showed you. So not very exciting either. Oh my god, my voice is going. <clears throat> okay, and uh, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi guys, so um, I'm just about to go into work now. I'm just in the car. But I just, I wasn't planning to vlog right now, but I just had to basically like... I was listening to um, Brian Torberty on the on my way in and there was a woman on who had um, motor neuron disease and oh my god, she's basically going to die in the next 18 months and her um, she's just going to be able to stop walking, stop talking, she won't be able to, eventually all she'll be able to do is blink, she's saying, and it's just like, I know it's so easy to say and not do it, but like, I'm just like, you have to be so grateful for what you have, like even think about what I was talking about last night, I was straightening my hair and I was complaining about how curly it was, and it's so hard to do, but like when you're be, you're like complaining about your day-to-day -day lives and then you realise how bad some people have it, and it's really, really hard to constantly be grateful for what you have um, and to be thankful and just realise how lucky you are, but it's definitely something that I'm like, after listening to that, I was just crying as I was driving like i can't believe how strong she was and i just how lucky i am at the same time and oh my god i just really 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 gonna try every day to like like say be thankful like for stuff because you just don't realize how precious life is and how lucky um you are so i know sorry this is so soppy and probably a bit early in the morning for this but god i was just listening to it and i just couldn't i was like overcome with emotion i was really just like this is insane this woman is so strong and look at me complaining about the most stupid of things and I'm so blessed and so lucky so yeah if this makes any of you guys feel like yeah you're right I should be thankful and I remember that I'm lucky then I'm, I hope it does <laughs> but yeah sorry about this um kind of depressing uh vlog right here but yeah okay I'm going to work now so I'll see you later bye
just hanging up a coat. Just hanging up a coat. MBD. Say <laughs> <laughs> so happy Christmas. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everybody! <laughs> Cringe. Boys don't like being on camera. Oh, that's going on mine, Dave. So that's all for today. Uh, we went for dinner in Gotham Cafe. I think it's... Is it called Gotham Cafe, Dave? Yeah. Yeah, Gotham Cafe, and it was really nice. And now I'm back in Dave's, and that's all that's happening tonight. So I'll love you and leave you. See you tomorrow. Bye.